yo, this is gonna be my review on the X2 medium board due edition. And personally, I thought I'd do both together since they're both about the same, besides a few different things. So I'll go over some stuff real fast to, to look over on the differences between each of them. Um, build quality for both of these, um, they're both solid, no issues with like creaking or I haven't had any button grinding on the mouse one or two. I, I did have that on my mini when I first got it, like the first copy. So it seems like they have solved that issue with that and the bird chirping mouse one or two, which I also had that too. Um, shape wise. Yeah, I'd say it's like a medium. I would say a medium. It's not crazy big. So I have like 19 by 9 hands around there. Um, no issues. I, 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 this is probably my favorite shape for the last fall. Even though I do um perform better with the Alanis Mini. Um, the hump is... I'd say it's a little farther in the back. Well, um, as you can see right here, it's um, so it's like three fourths down. So you will feel it in your palm a little bit. Um, the sides are flat, so you won't have any like curves, and uh, so they're just like straight flat. I, re I really like flat sides for a relaxed ball. Um, the button height, it's, it's not crazy low. It's a little decently, uh, it's not crazy how like a D pro super light or something like that. Um, you got mouse one and two grooves, which I absolutely love in mice. Um, wish there was more mice that actually had that because I feel like it kind of holds your grip in place with the deeper grooves. Keeps you more stable with your aim. Even with like, if you were like to fingertip too, I feel like it would help that as well. So I'd say this mouse is for, if you want a fingertip, I would say you want to go with the mini. If you want to like claw, last claw palm, you would want to go with this mouse, the medium. Um, Sensors, the 3395 um, in both of these. No issues with that right there. Um, gates, these are stock on this one. I, w I was using a glass pad, so I didn't switch. I have some of the Wraith gates, and this one has ice on it. Um, I'd say for glass, the stall skates are pretty dang good. I was really surprised because I did dog on their skates for at least on the cloth pads. Uh, I, I don't really like the for cloth pad but they're usable I, I would say you want the ice or an aftermarket if you use cloth because they're a little slow um coating is a lot better on these mice compared to like the, the regular colors the the red white and black the coating is way better it feels less um Holy, like the other one gets really slick for me. These are much better. Um, clicks. This one has Hawano ping dots. Um, this one has opticals. Opticals are a little heavier, but um, either one is pretty good. But these are a little more tactile, I would say. If you like a light heavier tactile or switch you would probably want this one um you would probably you you have to like get this one off the aftermarket since they're sold out everywhere i think mass gaming still has some of these as well as the minis maybe um scroll wheel um the scroll wheel on the bruce lee is pretty sick it's um i like how how it is like the ring kind of like your ring ones that people use for g pro like or other mice they swap out it's like a silicone ring yeah 
Um, both scrolls are pretty. This one feels a little lighter for me, but it's probably not going to be any different for you. Um, it's tactile, not crazy heavy, but this one feels a little heavier. But both are about the same. Um, side buttons, no real post or pre travel or any that. Neither on these. This one feels a little worse, but the board you definitely feels way better. For shot buttons, um, here's the sound test of Borgie Edition. Plus one and two. Plus one. Plus two. Shot buttons. Okay, here's the Bruce, Bruce Lee. Plus one. Plus two. Shot buttons. Both are pretty dang good um weight balancing pretty good on this nothing really pretty level um battery life got about three to four days on this one about the same as this one too um 10 to 15 hours a day so you're you're looking at a good amount or like your average person that doesn't play a crazy amount like I do. Software is your Pulsar software. It's pretty straightforward. Nothing really wrong with it. It's pretty simple and I'd say pretty dang good. Um, Christ is ninety five bucks I believe on this one. Yeah, ninety five bucks on the Creator, Rana Frank P and Borgi. Um, 120 for the Bruce Lee. I'd say, um, probably want to just pick up a Borgi or Brandon Frank P if you can. Um, unless you want to this Bruce Lee one. Um, you can feel this stripe right here with the paint. So be, let's say, um, just know that you can feel it here too. Um, can feel, for some reason, I can feel like a little bit of the stripes on this, which isn't a problem in game itself. You don't really notice it on mouse one and two as much. So you shouldn't have a problem with that. Um, but yeah, as far as I, I would say, this is definitely a good mouse. I, I actually prefer this shape over any shape for relax call. Um, I do perform better on the Atlantis Mini, though. I, I, I get way higher scores and do way better as far as tracking, at least. Um, but I would say, yeah, if you want one, I would pick up either one of these aftermarket if you can. Mass Gaming, Lethal sells the regular ones. Um, but hopefully they'll they'll switch to these obstacles for the regular ones because I believe people had issues with the kills double clicking or something or button releasing kills and I've had a lot of kills button release where you hold down the mouse one and you can let go of pressure and it'll start clicking. But yeah, um, you can use my code Jigsaw with the H at the end on lethal. It will um it will get donated to Crohn's disease charity for all the commissions. Appreciate it if you use it. If not, use someone else's. If you get save you some money. Um but thanks for watching Fuck Controllers. Have a good day, stay positive and like sub if you would like. I appreciate it that I got Finally hit 200 subs and looking to keep going and try hit 200 more. But thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.